Welcome to the Pilates Show Mondays, outside the Pilates studio, where we take our Pilates brain and body out into the real world. So here we are in my living room, and usually, and I try to catch myself, usually when I'm on the computer or reading, I am hammocked into the chair or the couch, typing away or reading away. Not good for my spine, not good for my sacrum at all. So I wanna challenge all of us to get onto the floor when we're reading or hanging out or even eating out of chairs and lower to the ground. So the first thing that we wanna look at is how we get down to the floor. So you wanna have all your props and everything set up. And so to get down onto the floor, you wanna use your good body mechanics. So you wanna think about shrink wrapping the tissue around your neutral spine and neutral pelvis and decelerating yourself down. Just like if you were on the reformer and you were resisting the springs to come down. So how slow and how much length can you maintain in your torso and spine as you come down to the floor? Now, you wanna have your pillows and your towels or your bolsters, whatever you need to make yourself comfortable in a seated position. Because the idea here is, is to, to build your endurance for you know, how long you can stay seated onto the floor. So it can be as simple as having just um, some pillows or a towel under your sitting bones and just sitting in a nice, comfortable, cross-legged position here. After a while, you're gonna to wanna to change your leg position. So you can have straight legs or wide legs or you can come into a little butterfly position. Um, people might also wanna sit into more squatting positions. For example, the Japanese sitting posture, you might wanna put something between your heels and your sitting bones to be comfortable. You could even go into a traditional squat here and hang out while you're on the computer or reading a book. And then just as we got down to the floor, you wanna pay attention to how you come up. And this I think is one of the most important parts that descending to the floor and coming up because it creates this whole spiral in the tissues of our body and all these really nice rotations in our bones. So we have this full range of motion through our whole body, coming down to the floor and coming up. So coming up, you wanna use those same body mechanics of your little lunge here. Have something that your hand can press against. You can extend your back toes under you, and then you wanna press into your front foot and hand to decelerate yourself up. And then again, you can practice as many times as you'd like going up and down. It's a good workout. So if we spend more time closer to the floor and we spend more time coming all the way down to the floor and all the way up, getting that full range of motion in all our joints, it's gonna add up to an easier body. Thanks for joining us. We'd love to hear from you. You can comment below or on Facebook or Twitter or on our forum on our site.